What's the crack, lads? We are back with some more Barcelona legends. We've got Epic Stoikov, Stoikov, Albert Ferra, and Pep Guardiola. Uh, I'm a bit torn on these lads. I don't think that they're game changing legends, to be fair, at this stage in the in the year. Uh, you know, and especially when we've got you know big time Mbappe and Messi, and we've got a couple of like attacking midfielders last week, which kind of renders Stoik Stoikov a little bit less important in terms of packing him in my opinion this is just my opinion but yeah i mean the likes of guti zico uh we've got a lot of good players in that kind of position the same with Guardiola, but we'll get into it we'll get into it so we're gonna have a quick look at their stats we're gonna start with stoikov uh obviously he was a fantastic player in his day he's got unwavering form he's got really nice player skills double touch even though they've toned it down a little bit it's still extremely op uh he's also got first time shot Dipping shot, true passing, and outside curler, low lofted pass. So those player skills should tell you exactly how you should train him. He goes up 29 levels, and when we go over to eFootball DB, you will see that he goes up to a 96 overall. Now he does go up to a 97 overall, but this is how we've trained him. This is my recommended build for him. I think this is probably the best version of him that you can get. Because look, you're not going to get massive speed into his card, right? Even if you just take away everything and start from scratch. Uh, when we're simulating this if you put like 12 into speed or maybe even 14 into speed you're only going to get up to 83 speed so to get up to 85 you are literally going to have only 16 points left which is only a couple into dexterity and a couple into the rest of his stats you know it's not really worth it in my opinion so i think we just have to kind of cut our claw as best as we possibly can get that at a 78 maybe and then obviously we're going to get that acceleration up a good bit, maybe to 88. And then the rest is going to depend on how you play, right? If you're a dribble centric type of guy, you have to use this guy as an AMF. So if you dribble a lot and you like one touch passing and stuff like that, then I would definitely put up his dribbling quite high, uh, maybe even up to uh, an eight on the dribbling. And then also for the passing, you can kind of max that out as well to get a 90 five rated version of him there now i do think that you are doing yourself a disservice if you do not shoot with a card like this i think that it's definitely there uh to be you know he, he's definitely one of the better cards to shoot with he's kind of like messy it's just a pity man that there's been so many cards that are like able to play that position you've got you know you've got messi you've got zico you've got guti you've got simmons who's a free card and now you've got this guy we also had a free del piero who's very similar to him uh, where he's not like a massively pacey player but it's more about kind of like uh, shooting you know from distance long range curls so that's how I train him up there is a couple of different ways you can train him up but let me know if you guys do spin or skip on him and let me know what you train him up to because he does go to a 97 but I think that's the best version of him next up we've got Pep Guardiola so I think Pep Guardiola looking at his stats here and his finalized stats obviously you're going to want to bring up his defense and his lower body strength as high as you can to get his stamina up don't need to worry too much about his speed and acceleration or anything like that because you know what you're going to be getting with pep now we've put in a lot of points into passing i don't even think we need that many so we're going to just change these up a little bit um if you wanted to go uh, a little bit more defensive you could but you know you could put in that 80 80 acceleration at 88 stamina with 90 low pass 90 92 lofted pass and then aggression um We'll try and get aggression there as well. I think that's probably the best way of going. Maybe get aggression to 80 and defensive engagement to 80 with defensive awareness 87. That's an extremely solid card, lads. Genuinely, that's an extremely solid card. Uh, it's just that he's not going to be overpowered. He does have blocker and interception and one-touch pass, which is unreal. He does have unwavering form. He's going to be locked on B form as well. But yeah, there's just so many good DMF out there as well. And, and this is the thing, man, when we're reviewing these players now... There's so many players that like play similar to each other, I think because of the lack of player ID, that you just have to look at the stats and you know a couple of other factors that come into it, such as the player's skills. And he has he does have the double uh, interception and blocker skill as well as fighting spirit and one-touch pass, which is nice. Obviously, we don't need to worry too much about the passing. If we wanted to take away a few from passing, we could because you know 88 passing and 90 lofted is going to be enough uh, for this player because of his player skills and obviously we can just decide whether we want to turn him into a little bit more of a monster in midfield if we wanted to do that you know we could obviously um put one more into defending and get it up to 88 defensive awareness but it depends man it depends how you want to train him it's up to you but there are a lot of other dmfs there declan rice comes to mind you know regular version kante casemiro 
there is a lot of really good players there. Fabinho, there's a lot of good players there. So, yeah, let me know as well if you're going to spin and if you do get Pep and uh, let me know your thoughts on him. I will try and, yeah, we'll see if I do try and get him. I mean, it's just, I just have such a stacked team at the moment. And last but not least, we have Ferrer. Now, this guy is actually very interesting. He's probably the pick of him, unusual, uh, or unusual, unusual enough. He is probably the pick uh, of him, right? And it's just because you can train him up in so many different ways. And he looks to be an absolute monster. Right now, he's a very short uh, player. He's only 170 cm. So, you know, even though he can play center back, I don't think I'd be playing him center back just because of the way that the game is gone at the moment, where it's all about kind of like quick touches. But it's also about kind of crosses. You know, you're going to come up against guys that will uh, bully you up front. Even with a player, like if you look at the likes of Romario. Romario is taller than him. He's going to be able to beat him in the air. Or any of those fast players are going to be able to compete with this guy in the air. Which is a bit of a pity, obviously. But his stats are ridiculous. He's got no blocker, but he does have interception. One touch pass, which is very unique for a center back card. Or a right back card. Sliding tackle, brilliant. Man marking, brilliant. Pinpoint crossing. He also has early crosser. So I think, yeah, the cards kind of tell you what they, what, what way you should train them up, really. Um, and when we go over to train him up here, we've got two options. So the first option is to just max out his defending. We've put 18 points into his defending, and we've kind of ignored the rest. So this would be kind of like a center-back version of him, even though I wouldn't play him as a center-back. You could play him in a back three or a back five very comfortably as kind of a, you know, a guy that's beside um, the main man in the middle. So to the right of him and then to the left of him, you could have somebody a little bit more strong. You could man mark if you're coming up against Lewandowski, you could man mark with your tall player. If you're coming, coming up against Mbappe or Romario or somebody like that, you could man mark with this guy and he will do a job. 89 acceleration, 91 speed, 90 stamina, 90 aggression, 85 defense awareness, 89 tackling. These are ridiculous stats. Now, I think you can get a better version of him uh, if you just obviously take away a couple of the defense, right? If you are going to be playing uh, right back, uh, you don't need to worry too much about his defensive engagement or his aggression, right? Obviously, it helps, but I think maxing that out at 13 is probably enough, right? We're not going to worry about uh, jump or physical contact because we're not going to be able to get that up no matter what. This is our right back version of it. So we did the center back a second ago. So all we're going to be worried about is obviously upgrading his dribbling a little bit and his passing a little bit. Try and get that up into the 80s because we do want to be spraying ball in from the early crosser and pinpoint crosser player skills that we have there. And then it's just pick your poison. I mean, you can go with one more de dexterity to get up to 90 and 90. Um, you've got the 90 stamina, 91 speed and 90 acceleration. And then obviously we can just put in a couple of more into dribbling. So those are ridiculous stats. Obviously, he only goes to a 94 there. Um, well, yeah, 94 there. So he is obviously going to be one of those players that you, you probably don't need to uh, upgrade too much more after that. If you want, if you had him in your squad, I think he's probably the best version uh, that you could get for a right back there's different ways it all depends on how you're training I mean some people would say yeah that's too much for defense we'll just take that down and put him there at defense that's still enough 79 tackling is, is more than enough and we just want to focus on him being an absolute beast up and down the wing such as Roberto Carlos or Cafu that have just got unlimited energy you can do that as well you know there's no problem with doing that if you wanted to do that we've got 75 offensive 75 defensive absolutely spot on uh perfect if you even wanted to go one more, you could, you know, you could go 76 and 76 and get that up a little bit higher. And then you'd still have one more for the lower body, or you could have two more or one more for the passing. If you wanted to do that or the dribbling, there's lots of different ways to, to train him up. So let me know what you guys think with the legends this week, obviously big time and the epics. And uh, yeah, let me know, let me know, because I will be doing a live stream hopefully today. Um, and we will see what the crack is, but if not, we will see you guys very, very soon and uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know if you're going to spin or skip and I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.